Welcome to a day in my life. Today we are starting bright and early in the morning and getting ready for a full day of work, errands, and socializing. I've been thinking about how to film this video in a way that best represents my day because I've spent most of my time on this channel showing you my art, my work, my process, and not so much my life. So I thought it might be something different, it might be nice to look back on. Y'all know I'm sappy as fuck and I get emotionally attached to things. So this is gonna be my way of remembering this chapter of my life. It's been three years since I've been a full-time artist and so much has changed. I feel like I've grown in so many ways and I've also grown out of so many spaces. I mean, you've seen me work and live in three different places so far and we're about to move again. So we've been staying at this flat for two years and it's so bittersweet because I grew up in this neighborhood. It's my childhood and what I'm familiar with. And I honestly can't believe that we're moving to the other side of the country. Singapore's not very small, but still it's so far away. This isn't a very bustling area of Singapore, okay, I'll be honest. And every time I tell people where I live, I get like the worst reaction ever. Like, huh? Yeah, but it's nostalgic to me. I kind of, you know, it's charming. I used to get lost on these trains all the time growing up and I always got so frustrated and like I only recently got used to them. I wouldn't consider myself a patriotic person but I have a lot of good things to say about living in Singapore surprisingly. Okay, I'm a big fan of heartland areas and especially how our HDB flats look like. I love seeing what colours I use to colour the neighbourhood and it's my favourite part. Sometimes they're super pretty and sometimes a bit questionable, okay, the colour choices. But I remember when I was living in Japan that every new person that I met would have something nice to say about Singapore and I never really understood it until I moved out and started living by myself in different parts of the island. It feels so good being in charge of my life, being independent and having this freedom away from my family. I know that not many people get a chance to do that here so I consider myself super lucky. There's really nothing cool near where I live though, which is kind of sad. Maybe except a hidden gem that we love to visit for lunch and it's the most satisfying, sinful and yummy meal every single time. It's the little things that I appreciate about this neighbourhood and I'm really gonna miss my prawn noodles. more like it. I usually start work after lunch because it gives me a little bit more time in the morning to just live life a little bit. I like it when the sun is out and I'm not like rushing myself to get into the studio to like start work so after lunch feels like a great time when I have energy, I have food in my system and I'm less snacky. I was looking through my schedule and I was thinking what we should do together, what should I show you in a day in my life. And I think I should quality check some of my new samples and then do something else. <laughs> so I'm probably going to go through these new samples. Ta oh my god. And then maybe watch some watch something on the side. Because I like to watch something hit empty and then like do my little tasks. But this feels like the perfect time to mention that this segment of the video is sponsored by Surfshark. Yay. I've always wanted to use a VPN because I'm not a tech genius, so like things like that really save me. If you haven't already heard, Surfshark is a virtual private network, aka VPN, and it's available as an app or a browser extension. Essentially, it allows you to browse through the web from anywhere around the world safely. I'm a serial rewatcher, so this is perfect for me. Surfshark makes it so easy for you to change your location, which allows you to access geolocked content, and it's perfect for any of your streaming services. My go-to is Netflix, so today, I think while doing all of my work, I want to watch um, I've been meaning to rewatch She's the Man. It's just not available in Singapore on any platform. I love that movie. It's one of the best movies and I can watch it a bajillion times. So like if I just change my location to I think the UK in London and like some parts of Canada have it. So if I just change it to the UK for example and I refresh my Netflix, it's there. So that's what we'll be watching later. I've never felt like it was easier for me to access content anywhere. But something else that I wanted to share that I recently learned that Surfshark has. They have this thing where you can set alert and they can let you know if there are any breaches in any of your social media accounts. Which is so important because if I ever lost my like Instagram or something, 
I'll cry and I don't want that to happen. So now I will know if like any of the websites I've put my email in has been breached. So helpful. This is great for people like me who aren't super alert about these things. And you know what's really cool? Value for money. Surfshark allows you to use one account on an unlimited amount of devices. So if you're interested in using Surfshark, you can use my promo code Natasha L for an extra three months free via the link in the description box. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. I feel so cool now. One of the cool kids with a cool sponsor. And yeah, I'm gonna watch my show. The best show. so much going on at the same time it's like I'm just trying to rush through everything if you haven't already heard we are basically moving to a brand new studio in a couple of months that's why everything is so stressful and panicky and, and there's just so much to do because a big bulk of my life right now and it's really taking over my life it's all the renovation and the planning for the new space there's actually so much to do and think of that I've never had to consider before I've never moved into a place I mean like I've been renting in Singapore for three years now but I've never had to buy all of my own furniture it's always been like partially furnished and stuff so like that's a big deal I've never had to pick up my own tiles and choose the walls and the floor and the ceiling and like there's just so much so I've been posting a lot on patreon a lot of blog posts and pictures on like tile shopping running errands and stuff and it really is such a big part of my life now I'm rarely in the studio I'm rarely in the seat I'm like running out and about. I'm excited to get started to be honest. Like once we're in a new space, I think we're gonna be in such a great hate space to just like get it done. You know, but I'm not looking forward to the packing. I'm really not. I think the next few weeks or like months even, it's gonna be hectic and crazy because nobody likes moving. Take a good long look, last long look, <laughs> long last good look at the studio because it's never gonna look like this again i'm not looking forward to packing i'm kind of like procrastinating i'm trying to rush through all of my work in september so that i have enough time in october to just like concentrate on packing i ordered 40 boxes <laughs> hopefully if it's everything because the last time we moved two years ago it was already like 25 ish 30 boxes so yeah it's it's gonna be good so yeah i really hope you stick around because there's gonna be so much moving content coming soon i'm excited it's gonna be so pretty you gotta trust the process it's gonna be ugly first and then it's gonna be pretty later something i've realized when watching back on my old videos is that there are so many parts of my day that i don't film because it's just time spent like tidying up or running the not so fun errands i try to bring you guys on the days that are fun you know i'm doing something more interesting but i'm taking some time to clean the house now because I'm hosting a small get-together and I want things to look as good as they can get. Okay, I know you haven't seen much of this house but I promise that I filmed a home tour in detail so that you can see every little bit of how we decorated, how we used up the space before we moved out. Of course, of course, the video is gonna come soon so yeah. I feel like I spend most of my day in my room that's why you see the majority of my videos in my room but like this is a pretty nice place. I am gonna miss it not that much. <laughs> Not that much. I forgot why I turned the camera on. Uh, we are going out again. So like I said, some of my friends are coming over and we need groceries. So we're gonna meet them there, do a little shopping, and then come back. Yeah, are running so many errands today and going out so much. I'm actually so sweaty. I can't wait to come back and turn on the aircon. I, I don't know, if you can see from the morning until now, I just look slowly more and more disheveled. I look tired. 
Like, look at my brain right now. In my brain, it's just, I wanna sleep. I actually did like schedule some time for an afternoon nap if I wake up early in the mornings. It just didn't happen today. There's too much cleaning and like preparing to do, so I couldn't take my afternoon nap. Sadness Everdeen. Sadness Everdeen. <laughs> I'm walking around smelling like an elderly person because my tummy hurts and I had to put all my little Chinese on. <laughs> so I smell like an old person. Oh, my tummy hurts, I can't help it. That's my secret. Guys, I have a confession. Confession. I'm a little bit greasy because we've been like frying gyoza with sesame oil, so like it is a little bit greasy looking. I got so carried away. I got so excited when my friends came over because this is their first time here. I like to have people over and host them, but I just got so carried away. I had so much fun and I forgot to film, but we came back from the supermarket, we prepped for the gyozas, we hand folded everything, and then now we're just like having a party outside. So this is not my typical day for sure, but like it is a day in my life and I hope that you have fun coming along. I hope to have more days like this instead of just like cooped up in my room all by myself and like just like being a workaholic. I'm trying to like have a better work-life balance as I always tell you about, you know, and I, I'm always so appreciative that you're always reminding me to take care of myself and be kind to myself. So like, yeah, I hope that I will have more days when my friends come over and maybe I'll like plan some special events where we can hang out online as well. We used to do that a lot more, like live streams and stuff. I think this brings us to the end of the video. Special shout out to my patrons, my shrimpy patrons who keep me alive and like you guys support me financially so it's because of you that I can make the content that you love every single month. And if you have the means to, you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon page in the description box below. I have lots of extra content, podcasts, I also have these rewards coming out like prints and stickers that you can get in the mail if you're interested in getting them. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Kisses for you too. If you want to have a subscription and you want to get three months extra, you can use my promo code. Thank you for supporting my sponsors. It helps me and I guess it helps the channel. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one sometime soon. Okay, bye. I gotta go back to my friends and eat. The gyozas are so good. Like we are so talented at gyoza wrapping. <laughs>